What's going on guys? My name is Sean Gonzalez. Welcome back to the channel. And today we're doing an unpackaging of the Vid Atlantic lens clamp for anamorphic lenses. Check it out. Okay, so we have the package right here from Vid Atlantic, which is also EE Vision Media, which is in Redlands, California. I got this off of eBay. I figured I'd order off of the eBay store. This way I can build up my feedback. Um, you can order it off of eBay or you can order it off of their uh, website, vidatlantic.com, which uh, will be in the description below. So um, I ordered it on Tuesday, and uh, th this was the uh, first, I believe. Yeah, the first. And it, I just got it today. Uh, it says the second right here, but I uh, purchased it on the first. I guess they shipped it out on the second. And it took about a week to get here, so uh, yeah, seven days. Let's get to opening this bad boy up. Now, I figured I'd do a unpackaging of this product because you don't see unpackaging or unboxings of them because most people just use them with their, uh, well, it's for anamorphic lens, um, but most people just show you instead of, you know, show you, um, most people show you what it looks like while they're using it, but they don't show you what it, how it comes packaged or what comes in the package. So first off we have, oh, I guess it's all in one. Yes, it is all in one. Okay, nothing else in the package. It's uh, got bubble wrap in there, nice and uh, safe. All right, so comes in a little plastic baggie. It's kind of light, um, but it feels like it's pretty strong. Strong enough to hold the anamorphic lens, which has some weight to it. Got a Vid Atlantic sticker right here. Pretty cool. It's their website. Not sure if you guys can see that. All right, there you go. Put that aside. We have some purple fasteners right here. Another little baggie. Let me open that up. Show you what they look like. It's got an Allen key hole. Uh, so I guess you can uh, tighten it with an Allen key or with your fingers if you could tighten it, you know, tight enough. All right. Comes with three of those in this little baggie. And then we're getting to the 52 millimeter thread clamp itself feels kind of strong and you can twist oh this twists off actually this is the uh, step up ring for the 52 millimeter its original size is I believe it's like 60 millimeters if I'm not mistaken actually I can pull it up right now because I'm on the website and I'll tell you guys really quick it comes factory with a 60 millimeter base, which is this base right here. And this is a step down ring to a 52 millimeter, which is the normal lens size for um, DSLRs for uh, filter, the filter rings. All right, so that's all that comes in the package. This cost me $39 on eBay with free shipping. Let me just double check that. Yeah, $39 free shipping. And uh, on their website, I believe it's $41 or $42. But on the website, you can choose two size rings. I know there's a 70, mm, 70 millimeter and a, uh, we have the 60 right here and the 52 step down ring. Um, I believe they have more sizes on there. I'm just not sure which ones they are offhand. But again, you know, go on their website. They have more information than what I'm telling you right now. This is just a brief unpackaging so you guys can see how it comes packaged, what it comes with. Um, so these fasteners inside the ring, inside the clamp, I'm sorry, look like they're shorter than the clamps, these clamps. These ones are a little longer than these ones. So I guess they give you a few options see which fits the best for your uh, anamorphic lens. Um, yeah, so that's basically it. Comes with these three items and I get to build my eBay feedback. Um, 
So don't forget to check out their website, vetatlantic.com. Uh, they're not paying me to do this unboxing. I'm just doing it because I hadn't found one on YouTube. Thanks for checking out the video, guys. Make sure you comment, rate, and subscribe to my channel. I have a whole bunch of more content coming up, the review of the lens clamp, how to connect it to an anamorphic lens, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.